The CEO of the Ghana Enterprises Agency, Mrs. Kosi Yankiraya. My supportive deputy, Mr. Miguel Swalai. Colleagues, CEOs, and deputies from other sister agencies. Staff from the presidency. Representatives from my development partners. Members of the diplomatic corps. Captains of industries. Colleagues from the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Directors and staff of NEIB. My esteemed judges, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning once again. On behalf of the National Entrepreneurship Innovation Program, the previous winners and today's finalists, I welcome everyone to season five of the presidential pitch program. We are thankful that all of you continue to patronize this important event every year. We feel privileged that for the fifth time, President Abufuaru has graced this occasion with his presence. We do not take it for granted at all. Mr. President, we are deeply grateful, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, on the 7th of January 2021, the President was very clear when he stated, and I quote, that a sheer can do spirit of a Ghanaian, which I have witnessed all my life, would be the bedrock on which we build the Ghana of our dreams. Even before then, we have seen ample demonstration of his conviction. Your government has created a viable ecosystem to nourish entrepreneurship, and we are the NAP a living testament, testament to this approach. Together with our other institutions like the Ghana Enterprises Agency, the Commission for TVEX, the Youth Employment Agency, the Development Bank Ghana, and other interventions like the YG1F, the Ghana Cares of Atapa Program, and the SME Growth and Opportunity Program. Our country has been placed on the cusp of an entrepreneurship revolution. A revolution that is driven by the energy, creativity, and the sheer determination of Ghanaians. Mr. President, as your agency, we at the NEIP believe that youth entrepreneurship is a key to unlocking the potential of our young people. It is a key to creating jobs, stimulating innovation, and solving real world problems. As a result, the NEIP continues to use its resources and platforms to nurture the can do spirit of burden entrepreneurs through events such as the presidential pitch. It is in this same spirit that this year we are focused on the theme youth entrepreneurship, power and possibilities. Youth entrepreneurship, power and possibilities. To help harness the vast opportunities in the entrepreneurship space, we have in the last seven years focused on delivering crucial support to the young people of Ghana. And some of these inter interventions include the Presidential Business Support Program, which provides BDS support and grants and loans to businesses. The Presidential Empowerment for Entrepreneurs with Disability, which provides business support to persons with disabilities. The Greenhouse Farming Project at Arena for cultivating vegetables and fruits. The Innovation and Student Entrepreneurship Initiatives, like the National Innovation Challenge and the STEM Innovation. Innovation is a partnership uh, program of the Ministry of Education. The Ghana Economic Transformation Project has a region grant program, which provided infrastructure and operational support to hubs and assisted them to incubate startups. The Ghana Cares Economic Enclave and Youth and Innovative Agreed Program. And Mr. President, here we've been working with the Ghana Cares Suite of the Ministry of Finance to onboard youth onto our commercial farming program across the four economic enclaves in the agri sector. Uh, we have an enclave in Greater Accra, one is Ustat, which provides capacity building and grants to businesses owned by the youth. And this is a collaboration with the Ghana Enterprises Agency. Entrepreneurship for Restoration is also a program for providing training and starter packs in light manufacturing to prison inmates across the country. The Ghana Digital Acceleration Project, Judah, uh, that is where we are getting support from the Startup Act for the entire ecosystem. And recently, the KIA Empowerment Program, which is providing technical and vocational skills to KIAs, and this is through a partnership with the YEA and the GEA. Mr. President, we feel proud that since 2017, we have provided business development support to about 250,000 beneficiaries, provided startup parks to 35,000 businesses, and provided funding support to about 15,000 businesses. And these businesses have created a total of 100,000 jobs over the last seven and a half years. 
We have also used our platform to create a network of complementary and catalytic partnerships in the technology space. Let me acknowledge the support we have received from the World Bank, the MasterCard Foundation, UNDP, and USA towards nurturing young innovators and entrepreneurs in Ghana. We also express our profound appreciation to the late Honorable Dr. John Puntiokuma and Honorable Dr. Ibrahim Mohamed Awa. Their selfless leadership of service positioned us to pursue the audition for any year. Distinguished participants, we have gathered today to mark another impactful intervention, the presidential page for innovative startups. Through the presidential page, we are highlighting a brighter future of possibilities. We are envisioning a future Preferably within a decade, where successful businesses from this page will conquer international markets and be listed on international stock markets. Mr. President, we at the NEIP take the privilege to lead your flagship initiative for providing together support for startups very seriously. We believe in the power of timely funding, mentorship, and training to transform business ideas. We know that creating a viable ecosystem can turn ideas into reality and passions into businesses. Mr. President, Honorable Ministers, CEOs, ladies and gentlemen, our finalists from the presidential page process are here today. As has become a hallmark, we have selected these finalists through a transparent and competitive process. We received applications across various sectors, fintech and technology, manufacturing and processing, food and beverage, agribusiness, tourism and creative arts, TVET and other sectors. The metrics for assessing businesses in the competition include innovation, visibility, scalability, employability, and sustainability. We are grateful to our judges for the work done so far. To the finalists, remember that you are not short of role models. When you face challenges on the field of entrepreneurship, remember that our fintech startups like the ZPays, Express Pays, Hapters, and a few funnels face similar difficulties. But be inspired that today there are good African examples for all of us. We are sure our 30 finalists that any and its network of partners will always have their back. We know these finalists are dreamers, we know they have visions, and we owe them a duty of care. Our charge is to help them to create legacies of achievements in their businesses. As I conclude, Mr. President, we wish to express our profound gratitude to you for your bold vision, leadership of convictions, and your unfailing faith in the Ghanaian youth. Your entire leadership has created the possibilities of youth entrepreneurship, which has the power to transform lives in our economy, create more sustainable and equitable future for us, and unlock the potential of our young people. On behalf of all the beneficiaries who have had the privilege to pitch before you throughout the years, I say a very big thank you for being part of the entrepreneurship incubation journey. Together, we say the other was Appel, Nagode, Uyiwala Don, and say Semi, all the other Ghanaian languages. God bless our finalists. God bless Nagoda. Thank you very much. This is how we create a legacy of great possibilities and achievement. Please put your hands together for the NYP. If you're joining us live here at the Living Pick Hotel or online on ABC TV. Thank you very much, Jerry. When you keep making the same mistake, I correct you most of the time. I'm now a Minister of State at the Ministry of Finance. <laughs> Your Excellency Nanadu Dankwa Ekufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana, the CEO of Ghana Enterprises Agency, Mrs. Kosi Yanki Aye, the CEO of Accra Digital Center, Honorable Kojo Ajima, Chief Executives from other state agencies present, representatives of our development partners, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Captains of industry, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of my minister and member of parliament for Karaga, Honorable Dr. Mohammed Amin Adam, I congratulate the 30 finalists present at today's event. I also commend the NEIP on this occasion of season five of the presidential pitch. I encourage you to stay the course on this journey as you indicated last year at the season four. This is a journey to create our future unicorns. 
Ladies and gentlemen, creating our own unicorns with power and a possibility mindset, which is the focus of this year's event, should remain a national preoccupation. We have a growing youthful population, even at full strength and capacity. No public finance framework can deliver the needed productive and sustainable jobs without the support of other stakeholders. Unlike our forefathers, we have the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA arrangement. This is a unifying and stronger framework for leveraging regional opportunities. We know that by 2030, barely five years from now, a fully integrated AFCFTA market of 1.7 billion people will have an estimated 6.7 trillion US dollars of combined consumer and business spending. Without doubt, an understanding of the assessment of these risks, prospects, and opportunities is what informed President Ekufuado to declare that the second term of office would be to establish a strong economy that will generate jobs for our people. By this, the President challenged all of us to back businesses up to grow and provide jobs. Certainly, it has not been easy since 2021. However, guided by a sense of agency and strong partnerships, government has executed far-reaching policies, policy measures through the COVID-19 Plan for Economic Growth, PCPEC. This is helping us to address some long-standing structural weaknesses in our economy. Today, the positive indicators attest to the fact that our economy is firmly on a path toward macroeconomic stability. Growth is robust, averaging 4.7% in Q1, driven by the industry. And this is higher than the 3.1% that was recorded over the same period last year. Headline inflation, as of end July 2024, has declined 20.9%. This reflects a steep decline from 54% in December 2022. Our international reserves have been rebuilt to cover 3.1 months of imports, although we continue to contend with forex pressure. And our fiscal position has significantly improved. We are broadly on course to record a positive primary balance of 0.5% of GDP in 2024. We are certainly moving in the right direction and we are in a better position to back businesses up. However, we recognize that much more must be done to achieve truly transformational growth. To stand by businesses, the President launched the SME Growth and Opportunity Program on 16 July 2024. It is our expectation that this program, which has already mobilized about 8.2 billion Ghana cities from both the government and the private sector, will offer targeted financing solutions and technical assistance to better support SMEs with strong potential for business expansion and job creation. At the same time, we have continued to provide digital and fiscal infrastructure, such as roads, railways, airports, the fishing harbors to back up businesses. We have also prioritized skills training and human capital development to support this journey to entrepreneurship. Distinguished participants, despite the recent financial squeeze and fiscal consolidation, we have continued to resource key entrepreneurship agencies such as the YEA, the Ghana Commodity Exchange, Development Bank Ghana, Ghana Enterprise Agency, Venture Capital Trust Fund to deliver on their mandate. We do so because we are convinced that entrepreneurship is a sure way for building a stronger and resilient economy that can withstand shocks. We are delighted that the NEIP have sustained this important initiative for raising and supporting daring entrepreneurs. We are aware of the successes from this initiative. Last year, the exploits of Chicken Man Pizza as well as other fintech entities that came from this initiative were highlighted. We are confident that you are, you are on the track uh, to creating new unicorns that will surpass the downgrades of this world in years to come. 
And for this reason, we continue to back you, NEIP, to stand by them. Standing by them is what will guarantee success and progress. To the finalists of the fifth season, make us proud with your impactful results. Make the president proud with your exploits. In seeking to do that, I encourage you to unlearn your own productive ways, learn new technologies and, te and technologies, techniques and technologies, as well as relearn efficient skills and business ethics. Take advantage of talents and bridge knowledge gaps to strengthen strategic partnerships. It must not be lost on our finalists that today's event is a manifestation of a desired future. Your attitude and hard work will be the difference between a lost opportunity and a prosperous future. This is the time to rise to the occasion and prove yourself. We have a supportive ecosystem of institutions and interventions. Use it to our collective advantage. We have this will to succeed and we must win together. Distinguished participants, we are happy to be here on this occasion. Kofi, thank you for the stage and the opportunity. We are pleased to be in the company of the President once again, to stand by and back Ghanaian business people to succeed. Thank you for the opportunity. God bless the finalists. God bless Ghanaian businesses. God bless the NEIP. God bless the President. God bless Ghana. <laughs>
Mr. President, Honorable Ministers, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, behold the 10 finalists. And so we wish you all the best. Make us proud. Once more, a round of applause. You can please exit. Representing the President of the Republic on the panel of judges are four eminent Ghanaians. Mr. Nelson Amo is the Executive Director of InnoHub, an enterprise support organization that empowers small and growing business process design for leaders establishing here as the recognized authority in shaping the future of education and business. <laughs> So we expect to create about 100 direct and indirect jobs in the next two years. Thank you. Congratulations. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Abdul Rahim Zibiyeh. That is House Foundation Manifesto. So you follow the process. So please, whenever you call the number, when the call is in process, this board will be blinking to let you know that the call is in process. So please, you have to cut it and call again. So please, when you call again, the system will go off. This system can be used in cars, every, any device that has any, every electronic devices. So please, scares and robbers. So please, <laughs> please, you cut it and call again. Put on a certain switch at a, at a particular point. If you want to listen to whatever sound we are doing here on your phone, if you call, you will set it so that you may use to listen sound over a long distance. So please, you go through the process again. So please, you call again. <laughs> This problem stems from a lack of capacity of our local producers to meet local demand due to unsustainable farming technologies. This is where we come in. At Verti Tower, we are developing vertical farming installations for smallholder vegetable farmers to multiply their yield using our product, the VT Grow. VT Grow is a locally engineered system in which you can grow fresh produce in a water-based medium and it is powered by solar energy. We are playing in the vegetable production market, which is valued at $0.95 billion, and we are like companies like farm estates and tropical growers. However, we are different. Our system can yield up to four times more produce, 
is friendly for use by the smallholder farmer and is engineered to be efficient right in the open field. You don't need a greenhouse, you don't need an enclosed space. We've completed the design of our prototype, which was developed by a team of young, passionate, and brilliant individuals. So, today we are asking for 250,000 Ghana cities to pilot a 5 kilowatt vertical farm. This money is going to go into completion of our product development, marketing, web development, staffing, and security. With these funds, we'll be able to generate enough produce, multiply our smallholder farmers' yields, create green jobs that will feed the nation, and make agriculture attractive to the youth whilst doing this. We invite you to help make this impact a reality. Support Betty Tower, take our dreams of taking agriculture in Ghana to the next level by investing in us. Thank you. No, you're not. We are just minimizing the space that is required to grow produce and can use that small space to grow as much produce as would have been done on a large land. And then. Right. So. Yes, please. So we're going to work with the farmer associations. We're not just going to go out and then find individual farmers. We work with farmer associations. And then on our farms, we'll do demos. So farmers will come on who, are, who we seek to and make rent our farms, we'll come there and then we'll demonstrate how things are done. They can run an entire season just learning from us and we'll be making money out on the side whilst they are also learning. And then they can themselves even transfer using the training, the trainer concepts to others and then easily um, pick up the skill. The, the biggest problem of this country has been irrigation. Uh, how are you solving irrigation with this one? Because you are saying it's possible. What is the plan, the strategy to solve the issue of irrigation? So the good thing about that system is we don't need much water to run. Now, one of the main points of um, water supply on our farms is that we're going to be harvesting rainwater. Of course, we can't, we can't see rainwater is sustainable, but in the initial, in initial setup, we have to source water, store in the reservoir, and that same water source can be used to circulate across the farming systems for several rounds of, of seasons of farming. So the water that we need is not that much to require us to depend on irrigation or rain for a rain-fed agriculture. This 
one. Your lights are beautiful. I heard you mention you proposed this to KFC. What was the feedback you got from them? The procurement manifest is they are still working on this, so I'll hear from them very soon. So we know there are a lot of foreign deco lights on the market, and there's a perception about made in Ghana products. And you want to penetrate the market. What would be your market penetration strategies? And how will your pricing align with your overall strategy? Okay, I would say my pricing I'm going to be moderate. And I also design based on customers' preference. Which they are foreign market, they do it in large quantity with us, maybe getting it as you prefer it. So I can see I can use that as a chance to penetrate to the market. So customize. So how much are you pricing yours compared to the ones on the market? Okay, compared to the Chandelier on the market, some are 500 cities, the mine is 350 cities. And then some two are very good. Thank you. Concept, making it easy and accessible to every student. In fact, we went to Eastern, the Eastern part and Ashanti part of Ghana and then we did a test. What we realized was students are able to gain 80% of what they learn, which is their retention time increased by 80%. With that, we went back to the drawing board and added two more functionalities which makes us different from what is on the market. One is its offline feature. No matter where you are in Ghana, whether you are connected to internet or not, you can now use similar. We also added a feature that connects you to every device you want, whether it's mobile, VR, web, desktop, you name it, we can make it happen. With that, the, Afri the, gaming, the African gaming market is estimated to be around 2.4 billion USD and we want to attain around 1% by, by the next decade. The reason why you should invest 1.3 million Ghana cities in Simulab is you wouldn't only be investing in the future education of Ghana. You will be investing in the next generation of scientists, investors, and innovators, which in turn would lead, would lead to about 5,000 job creation in the next seven years. Invest in Simulab and invest in the future of scientists. Please can you show the product? Yes, so this is Simulab. With Simulab, you can use it like it simulates the virtual lab, so you can perform every scientific experiment you want. And you, it asks you questions. You can also see the practicality of the mass concept you learn. So if it's Pythagoras theory, it shows you the way exactly you can apply Pythagoras theory. It also has a gamified assessment, so you could know how to learn, easy way to learn. So you could be playing a game while you are learning how to answer questions. And this is, you can also be used for a tool for teaching. This is where we tested the retention of beauty in Eastern region. So that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so this is where when we are going to the rural areas of Eastern region. It was quite a journey. We had to get out all the students from all around and pick them in car to, for, for the testing. It was quite an experience. So thank you very much. The support of 250,000 Ghana cities would create another operation plant in Akuse, where much of our raw materials come from, so that the youth over there will also get a job. Please join us on this journey to make Ghana a greener and cleaner country. Thank you. Um, yes, uh, so we have. So I give you a new massage, just remind you of the. But the issue of the news, the Busa and Malakai, you know. Now, the, the question is, is, is this a pesticide? So, um, it's actually a pest repellent. So, it doesn't kill pests, okay. but it repels pests. But for beyond the pests, um, for nematodes, it creates um, some conditions in the soil. So, it creates 
useful bacteria to feed on the nematodes so the nematodes do not affect the plants. No, but we have kind of similar things on the market. What, what differentiates it? Because the thing is that you still find a lot of these things on the market. Is there, is there something that makes you very different from the market? That we, so we'll be sure that the money actually won't give it to you. And then the number of employees, I'm not sure five is enough. You need to look at the agents as well. That's an advice. The agents that will be selling because five is not enough for almost $250,000. Yeah, but you, so can you handle the question on uh, is commercial, I mean, viability and the ability to say to beat up the market or what is on the market or what makes it different? Okay, so uh, this is biological. Most of the ones you have on the market is synthetic. So it comes back to hurt the environment. Um, again, um, we are local people, so we understand the local needs of farmers. So then um, we, we can really relate to the farmers and then get to know their problems. We know that this is what they want and then we do it for them. So that's what actually sets us apart. Um, again, farmers would have to buy four products to actually take care of nematodes, um, insects, bacteria, and fungi. But then for this product, um, this one product takes care of all the four. And then it also stimulates the plants to grow and then bear vigorous fruits. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bodo Tokon Owistop, and I'm with Fresh Line Post Harvest Solutions in Akumana in Ashanti region. Aside the recurrent post harvest losses, this is very excessive that we face annually in Ghana here, especially in tomatoes. The abrupt change in climate change has resulted in draining harvest, and this has directly affected the amount of tomatoes we have on the farm currently, on the market currently. And that is a precedent, that's why Ghanaians are now struggling to get fresh tomatoes in the market. And for us as consumers, what this really means is we are either forced to consume cheap or most imported tomato paste from China or deal with overly expensive fresh tomatoes imported from Burkina Faso. As a company, we are doing our part by sourcing surplus tomatoes realized during harvest seasons from Akumada and the barrels, and then convert them to the Akuma tomato powder. This product I have with me here, made without additives, preservatives, or chemicals, fits perfectly with the emerging health conscious consumer markets that we have in Ghana here. Over the past 24 months, we've been able to do, make 40 tons of these products sold them on the market, realizing a revenue of around 136,000 Ghana cities, had our FDA, FDA certification for the product. To meet this, we are asking for a support of 250,000 Ghana cities from this program to allow us to increase our production to 12 tons annually, set up a nucleus farm with 36 youth farmers to feed our factory during off-season and also make more tomatoes available on the market during off-season as well. We are also wanting to enter and then expand our market reach in four major regions in Ghana. And all of this is done to help us realize our overarching aim as a company to reduce post harvest losses, especially among tomato, to create over 500 jobs for youth in agriculture, and also to reduce, uh, to provide food security and availability. And then we are looking at producing over 120 pieces, 120,000 pieces of this product annually. Thank you very much. We are first-line post harvest solutions. We empower farmers and we, we preserve harvest. Yeah, so you are in to mention dwindling harvest. And that's one of the major challenges. You also mentioned you are going to set up a new farm for young people. Uh, with challenges of rains that we have in like this year, for example, nucleus farms have a challenge of that same dwindling harvest. I came to Paul like this. Without water, without drink, but with word, the essence of spirit, and the creative force of all of life. Unipa da seni, yebe kai wo papa, niya kai wo fumsu, yebe bo dimpa, niya bo subo, ye kai wo papa ngo anka wo yo bofu. Nanso she, openi bi anso yo bofu, esa yo bofu. Ti me di mi frano bofu de fu dan fu tu ko kuwa, o ku mo ku se ku patika. Kani biu. Open in the eye of open in the eye of Now, so with you, friend of before they fall down for a two quick poor, you come on to see the particle. Oh no, or your young papa. You jack yati will feel a cock, a bra in watch your home, over barn, near the hopper call, near the hopper bray, 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 bray. The burdens of a great vision weigh the shoulders of the mind. And so, while all men have slept 
Fast forward, some have dreamt, and others have woken up to lend feet to their dreams. It is only proper that we chase after the man who dreamt, woke up, and started screaming. At least he caught all of our attention. That was something worth doing. And so, like we have mixed all of this and are about to taste his goodness, he to him, what is good is not good. Please, let him sniff a little bit of alligator pepper and let us see how he likes it. And then let us see how he reacts. And then, all the world will know that it is beautiful that the people at the center of the world have begun to learn to celebrate themselves for doing simple things like placing one step in front of the other. For that is the only way that the old lady gets to the top of the mountain. And that is how progress is made. Ago. Ago. Ago fiha. And so just as we run and hand batons over, one man had that vision, entered the center of the world, made promises, and passed the baton on to other people. And today we hand it back to him and say, opening a name. Who would he? A walk round his swag, the boss, no matter so I want it, into with it, the amount of people who want. I go, Ghana, who are you? You're not young. Send your young Nana. Chi Nana. Nana, I do. Don't want a coof. I do. I be a dee. Ain't it a friend of dinner or yardy ye? In point to him and cost one in it, puppet. Why are you going to say, young to your boy, ye mono, yet no, deche, 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 deche. Mark Rakka, a tin of Kuna Kessia Swan, sending you say, eh, Anka, Anka, the infant cast and the boy, and Napoleon, and Kabu, and the Kuan. They say my words are heavy. It is simply because young people like me have dreams, visions, and aspirations that one day this nation will work again. But we have only and always heard all the reasons why. These dreams cannot work. But finally, we were lent the place, not even in play, where an elder sits and says, There is wisdom in the steps of our young people. And so he lends a listening ear. The writings are clear on the wall. For five years, we have been here, year on year. And beyond the confines of this room, call this a talk shop. The workshop has been all of Ghana and beyond. Young people have proven that they will make this nation proud. But you see, nobody likes to give birth to a bad child. Yet when he's delivered, everyone will send him on an errand. That is the lonely place of a king. My words are simple. My words are heavy, but you see, I chose to grow my beard over these five years so that every year when I come, it will simply show progress in whichever direction you choose to go. The beard is the group with which our elders gather. But our elders raise their beards in the dew to lose the pigment of youth, but when you meet an elder who talks no beard, he has picked all of life's experiences. Abra, Ghana, Ayakar, Ibiti, who are also on die? I'm sorry. Now catch the beard. Your Excellency, my final and personal pitch to you. 
Mm-hmm. If you know, me fool me, I did not be dear dancing. Me say, oh, who can you name here? Talk a crazy me so me, what? Me fool dear dancing. Dear dancing.